What's up, everybody? It's Brian. And Logan. And we are Crush Cards. So a moderately sick Crush a Cards. Very, very <laughs> sick Crush Cards. I was going to say, if you guys have been following us for the last week or so, you know that we have both been kind of sick. We feel a little bit better just enough to make these videos because even though we're sick, that does not stop the fact that it is banned list season. A lot of people are talking about the top five, top 10 best decks. And this is one that I think nobody is giving any attention or any credit to. And I wanted to personally bring you my favorite deck and a deck that I think is going to be an insane sleeper deck for not only this new master rule, but for this current format with the most recent ban list. So let's get into it. This is the Danger Zombie, we'll call it Rivalry Curious Turbo, whatever. It's just, it's Danger Zombie. So let's get into it. Danger Zombie Lock Dot Deck. So for starter cards, as always, play three Sure Nui Solitaire. This card attributes for cost and then special summons a zombie tuner directly from the deck with zero defense. There are two targets in this deck, but you will typically just go for triple Unizombie. This is the heart and soul of your entire deck. It has two effects, both of which target a monster and increase their level by one. And then the first effect is you can send any zombie monster directly from your deck to the graveyard. Most often you're gonna send Banshee in the combo so that you can have access to Zombie World or you can send Mizuki for any play extensions. And if you need access to Doom King, you can send Doom King or your Bloom to get your Doom King. So that is a really, really good effect. And then the second effect, which is really relevant with the dangers, is that you can do the same cost, which is target a monster, increase its level by one and then discard a card. If you have anything in your hand that you want to get rid of, which like a Mizuki or a Doom King to get them engraved to make them live, it's really, really beneficial. And once again, if you have Dangers and you have Thunderbird or Bigfoot going second and you need to pop back row or pop a problematic card, that'll do the job for you. So this card is insane at three. I never thought that I would be playing Mizuki at three. However, in a combo version of this deck, this is the most free extender that you will ever have. Off to your two ofs. I played two Necroworld Banshee to get you access to your field spell and two glow up bloom to get you access to your doom king these cards are really nice to see however they are all relatively searchable throughout your deck you do draw a lot and you are also going to be sending stuff off of unizombie so you don't want to brick too hard which is why i only play both of these at two and then two of the big boss boy himself two doom king this card is a walking two interruptions on either player's turn each turn it is unbelievable when zombie world is up it can negate zombie monsters effects which would be all of your and your opponent's monsters or it can chain to banish any monster on the field or in the graveyard so this clears so many things and it's non-targeting which is just something that most boss monsters do not do and if there's a field spell present in either player's field zone he will come back out in the standby phase every single turn so this card is just broken and then we have a relative relatively big danger package. Two Mothman, the two Jackalope, two Suchinoko, the one now, <laughs> Nessie, I will say one. that hurt a lot more than I thought it would. Uh, the one Chupacabra and then the two big ones, the big bird and the big foot. And 10 dangers. Yeah, this is a very, very big danger package. However, this zombie deck doesn't really draw well and it doesn't have a, a really consistent draw engine. So these really help. They're all dark monsters, which helps you get into curious. They're all different types. All you really need is Yunazami in any two of these. So these are absolutely critical. This helps unbrick your hand. This just can get a monster on field. This is a guaranteed body. This helps you search for anything you need, which arguably going second was a lot better when you had two because you could search either of these two to provide you with the pops that you needed and then this is just a reborn for any danger in your graveyard and for the last of the monsters we have a baby warrior package play one armageddon knight and three destiny hero malicious once malicious again delicious. this card is just a free extender if it hits the graveyard you can just get a free body on the field and then if you do not open any starters you want to see banshee in your graveyard as probably the first action of the entire game so this will help you send banshee or late game if you top deck this you can always send a bloom to get access access to your Doom King. So it's just a strong card. Off to the spells. If you play not one, but two Zombie World, not, not three. three. Nah, three is just too much of a brick. If you hard open one, it's still kind of a pain. But when you hard open two, it's just a really bad feeling. So it's searchable off of Banshee. It's recurrable mm -hmm. off of some of the stuff in your extra deck. So you only need to play two of this card. It's definitely not mandatory at three. A card that you do play at three though, Super duper schmooper, Polly. Yeah, this deck is built to go first and set up unbreakable boards and also tries to just break boards going second. And this card allows you to do so, so easily. It's so free. I mean, Super Polly at three is, some people say it's unfair. I think it's very balanced. So this card at three is perfect. And I think it should stay at three. I agree. And then another card, which allows you to go first 
And second is Triple Instant Fusion. I'm very, very glad that they did not hit this on the most recent ban list, but going first, you can go into your Millenniumizer Strict, which kind of functions as a call by the grave so that you don't get hand traps and that you can just play through things and just kind of play for free. And then going second, you can also go into your Thousand Eyes Restrict and interrupt your opponent by taking one of the problematic cards. Either way, it's a free body on board and it just provides some sort of interruption. And then guess what, boys? We got it back. We're not banned. Pot of Avarice coming in clutch. This card says you can target five monsters in your graveyard and shuffle all five of them into the deck and then draw two. When you resolve your combo and you're done, you literally just get to draw two cards for free. This card is broken. I'm so glad that this card came back. We've been sitting on these for a while, so this had to make it into the deck. And then the last two cards are the two Rivalry of Warlords. You don't need to play three. It's searchable most of the time, but I did choose to play two because if you hard open it, you could search something else. Rivalry is a really great card in this deck, and then with Zombie World, it's an amazing lock. There it is. All right, extra deck time. Woo -woo. This, in my opinion, was probably the hardest decision to make. 15 cards in the extra deck. This is so tight that it's not even funny. I, I literally was between 16. I will go through my decisions and why. So first and foremost, Link Karibo, it's one level one monster. You only play two of them in your entire deck, which is Bloom. But when you want Doom King real fast and you don't want to link another material away, you can literally just go into this, banish to get your Doom King, and then you have a free body on board. Sometimes the battle protection does come up. We play the one vampire sucker. Typically in most zombie builds, you will play two, but in the combo version, it doesn't come up often. It really is only there to give you the plus one off of the draw effect when Doom King special summons. It's not necessary, but it was between this or Avendred Savior. And going second, if you don't have access to Doom King, this allows you to beat over stuff. This is not in my extra deck right now, but I will leave it up to you guys. It's between this or this. I just think that this comes up more often than this does, which is why I chose the Vampire Sucker. Then we have IP Masquerina. This card is only in here because if they interrupt you on Curious, which is what they will typically always try to hit you, you still have a follow-up play. You can go into your Masquerina, get an additional extender, and then just go into Unicorn and interrupt them on their turn. So it really punishes them for trying to interrupt your combo. We love her. This card is insane in this deck. Barricade Borg Blocker states that continuous spells and field spells on the field cannot be targeted or destroyed. So when this is up and Zombie World is up, your Zombie World is totally free. And it also says that when you have a field spell in your graveyard, the turn that this card is summoned, you can discard a card, and then at the end phase, you can add that field spell back to your hand. So it helps you recur your Zombie World, and it helps to protect it while it's face up on the field. This card is insane. Yeah. And then your generic Nightmare Package. Uh, Phoenix and Unicorn. I almost cut Phoenix, but with this new ban list that just came out, I think that Rogue and a lot of back row reliant decks are going to be running around, so you just can't afford to lose the Phoenix. And then the Unicorn is just also a free interruption. You can spin back any problematic back row or any problematic monster, so you just have to have these two. Still in the late threes. BLS, this card is basically an auto win against all control decks. If you can get it out using a level seven or higher material, unable to be targeted and it's unable to be destroyed by card effects. So there's no out that a lot of those control decks or those back row reliant decks have. So this card is the auto win button for them. On our last link three and our first link four, this is the Curious Griffin combo. This is the reason the deck is so functional. Uh, Curious allows you to send any card from your deck directly to the graveyard. It could be any extender. It can be a spell and trap that you want to set and recur off of Griffin because Griffin allows you to add any spell or trap in your graveyard directly back to your hand just by discarding a card. And then Curious has a secondary effect that once you've sent that one card, you mill three. So in this deck, it's even better. It's basically a plus four because everything in your deck wants to be in the graveyard. And Curious, when it's on the field, says that no special summon monsters can activate their effects unless they are linked. So the cool combo with this is when you have Griffin, and then say so you have a Doom King in your graveyard, on your opponent's standby phase, this will special summon itself out to this arrow. Even though Griffin gives your opponent an arrow, anything that they try and activate here, Doom King can just negate it, or if it's not super problematic, they can just banish it instead, let the effect go through. So it's a really strong combo. Last for the Link 4s, we play one Appaloosa and the one Boral Sword. This just helps you go in and OTK as soon as possible and just end games quickly. And then this is just just help prevent against Nibiru. Game two and three, your opponent knows that you're playing a combo deck, so typically a lot of people side to beer nowadays so this card is definitely going to help prevent against that lastly for the extra deck we have our instant fusion targets and our super poly targets millennium eyes is for going first it just functions as called by the grave and then thousand eyes of going second functions as an interruption it's basically mind control you take an opponent's monster and you can also just link it away with link karibo and then starving venom is two darks and then dragon necro nether soul dragon it's just two zombie monsters so it could be your opponent's monsters it's insane and then it actually has a really cool effect where during the battle phase it does not destroy any monster but any monster that battles with an original level it will attack it and then at the end of the damage calculation it makes its attack zero and then you clone a token of the original attack and defense of that monster and then this token basically can just ram into the, the new monster the token then could just ram into the monster that you just attacked
attacked again, and it could be zero, and then you just basically inflict their original damage. So really cool. It helps put a lot of damage on board. Shout out, of course. Cardboard Gaming for these incredible custom Dark Soul tokens. We'll link him in the description down below, guys, for you. He also just recently made an Instagram where he will be posting all of his new stuff that he's making, so we'll be sure to link that for you, too, so you can see all of his cool stuff and get it for yourself. Our opponent will cut. Hello, it's me, opponent, cutting. Da 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 ba, ba, ba. And we will rip the first five. Rip it. Ooh, mystery, what will it be? Dundee dundee. Oh, oh, oh. All right. All right. That's pretty nice. Not bad. So, first and foremost, always activate instant fusion. Getting you a millennium eyes. Normal summon, activate effect. Send the Banshee. And then we will reveal our Nessie. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. They hit the Thunderbird. Nessie will summon. And then we will draw. Jackalope. Perfect. So then we will link three into Curious. Once again, Curious effect will activate, and if they have no response, we will attempt to chain our Banshee, banishing one, activating Zombie World directly from the deck, and then Curious will send one. So Curious just sent Doom King, and we already have an extender in our hand, so off of Curious, we have to mill three. Oh, there he is again. Cool, so we will activate Jackalope in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is free, this is in the graveyard now. And then we will draw one. Nice. We can go into our griffin, and then we can activate griffin's effect by discarding our Unizombie to add rivalry back to our hand. We will set the rivalry, and then in our opponent's standby phase, Doom King will special summon himself out, creating the most insane lock that I think Zombies has ever seen. This card doesn't allow your opponent to activate special summon monsters unless they are linked. You give them one arrow, and whatever they summon to that arrow, Doom King is either going to negate it or banish it, and then rivalry locks your opponent into only summoning zombie monsters. If this isn't the most insane lock, I don't know what is. Wow. Let's try our luck again. Okay. Second test hand. Here I am. How did the cards guide you? Three hands, what will they be? Arma, Mizuki. Yeah, okay. Man, that's, that looks familiar. <laughs> Man, that's really interesting. Um, all right, okay. so we're gonna instant, of course. Man, that card's everywhere. Everywhere. Um, and then we will go into our Armageddon Knight effect, send Banshee, and then we will activate our Nessie. One, two, ah! Oh, free extender, baby. And then we will get one. Oh, even better, bro. And then, of course, we all know what happens here. Curious. Yeah. We're going to banish our Banshee, activating Zombie World. And then you already have an extender, and you already have another extender in your hand off of Griffin. So we will send Doom King. And we will cut. And then, on our resolution, Curious will mill three. Oh, ho, ho. Here's all your Mizukis. <laughs> that is broken. Oh my god. So we will uh <laughs> activate one of many. Holy crap. To grab our solitaire, uh solitaire effect. We'll just tribute Unizombie. This is insane. Wow. Holy crap. So we're gonna activate Unizombie's effect to send from our hand. So we'll send our malicious. Then we'll link for four into our griffin, and then we will activate malicious, banishing to get one. And then we can activate a second Mizuki if we would like. Getting our Unizombie back. Activate Unizombie's effect. Sending from the deck this time. Just so that we have an insured activation on our opponent's turn if we need one. We still have a Mizuki live in our graveyard. And in about 30 seconds, we're going to have a second Malicious live. So we will link two into our barricade board blocker. And we will set our rivalry. So what will happen is on our opponent's standby phase, we will special summon our Doom King to the arrow that board blocker points to. So now Griffin will not allow our opponent to activate special summon monsters unless they are linked doom king because he is linked is totally fine and will be allowed to activate which will take care of any monster that our opponent tries to activate the griffin points to we have our rivalry lock barricade borg blocker will protect zombie world and then in our graveyard we have one two and three plays for an next turn so this is probably i'd say the most ideal board for you to end on holy moly wow look at that guys that's pretty scary. So once again, I think this is a deck that a lot of people are sleeping on. I would argue that this is probably one of the best builds I've played in my entire life. Uh, really worked hard on this deck. 
Shout out to my boy Chandler from our locals. He's been playing a deck relatively similar to this. I'll try to get the profile up for you guys also, but I think people are sleeping on zombies. I think this is one of the best decks in this new format. Don't underestimate this deck. This deck will catch you by surprise. So I didn't really show my side deck, but I do have a relative idea of what it's gonna be. I just don't know what the current meta is right now. So if I had to choose, it'd be a lot of back row hate. It'd be a lot of removal, a lot of stuff to go, like evenly matched to go second, twin twisters, maybe even the one red reboot because you can search it off of Curious and Griffin. So once again, this is just a deck that I'm really passionate about. It's probably the first like competitive deck that got me back into Yu-Gi-Oh! And I just, I absolutely love this deck. I think that this is something that everybody should pick up and give it a try. I think that this deck is super strong. I mean, you could see the, th this is um, almost an unbreakable board. Even with back row, like this is, this deck is insane. Let me know if you guys like this build. Let me know what you would do differently. And let me know what you guys think of zombies in this next format. And as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and you want to see us do some more deck profiles. We have a lot planned with this new ban list, new format, everything going on. So we're looking to bring a whole bunch of new profiles to you guys and we can't wait. Let us know some profiles you might want to see. We're going to bring them to you anyway, no matter what. So be sure to comment what you think of this deck. What do you think of zombies? What do you think are going to be some of the top meta decks in this new format post ban list? We are really interested in knowing what you guys think. So feel free to talk to us because we try to answer all of your comments all the time. Because I love to talk to you guys. We like to talk to you guys. And it's a lot of fun hearing what you have to say. And it means a lot. Be sure to follow our Instagram. It's at crushcardsygo. We will have it written in the description down below. We always post updates and stories and posts on what we're doing and how we're doing and when we're gonna put new videos up and all sorts of fun secret stuff. So be sure to give us a follow, it means a lot. Also feel free to always leave us messages. We always respond as fast as we can. We will be announcing the winner of our 4,000 subscriber giveaway later this week in a different video. So just keep your eyes peeled because it's coming. Don't worry, I know people are asking, but patience is a virtue and the giveaway will be done soon. We're also waiting on some secret mystery prizes to come so we can give them to the winner. So don't worry, we're on it. Thank you guys so much. It means a lot that you watch these deck profiles and we hope you enjoy them. Be sure to subscribe. It helps the channel, it helps us. We wanna make content for you guys all the time. So please subscribe. Subscribe, like the video, comment, do everything you can because it means a lot to us as creators. I love you. We love you. Thank you for sitting through this. He's super sick and mm -hmm. I know it was probably really hard. Sorry for my voice. Mom. Yeah, sorry for all of this, but we still wanted to get the video up for you. Promise we're, we're trying our best to heal as fast as possible. But thank you guys so much. I love you. We love you. We're Crush Cards. Top says hi. He's upstairs, but we'll see you guys later. Bye. Mwah.